Welcome back, tribe. So, a bunch of you wanted me to cover this. Divorce comes to the Philippines by Filipina P. Of course, I know a lot of you have headed out that way, so this may be of interest to quite a few of you. Haven't seen it? Let's find out. Assets and divorce them and move on to the next guy. Maybe they'll wake up one morning and say, oh, I don't want to be married anymore. But the Philippines isn't even thinking about legislation that allows people to change partners like changing underwear. Right, Gracie? Yes, right now, the current status is still the same. We still don't have any divorce law in the Philippines. In the Philippines, we value marriage ties. Okay, so tell us about the meat of this proposed legislation and how is it different from a divorce, say, in the U.S.? Um, compare it to the grounds of divorce in some Western countries, there is what you call the no-fault no divorce. The proceedings are quite easy if both parties agree to the divorce. It's the bills that I have read so far in the past has, has no, um, no ground similar to a no-fault divorce. There's always a specific ground that the petitioner has to prove in court. So there is no such thing as just because there is a reconcilable difference of the two of you during marriage, you can already file a divorce. No, that's not contemplated in the bills, which is entirely different from the divorce law you have in the West. Because again, as what I've said, they want the divorce law to be a last recourse for the termination of marriage. It's not something that just because you don't like to be married, you can terminate the marriage. It's not going to be that easy. If someone cheated, is it part of it? Yeah, if they're incorporating the grounds for legal separation, one of the grounds is infidelity. Yes, it could be a ground for um, the divorce law. Rest assured that whatever laws um, enacted by the Senate, there is cultural or custom consideration. I think what has been done by our uh, legislature is just to have the grounds for declaration of nullity of marriage or even annulment of marriage or legal separation those grounds can be um, used as grounds for divorce right now. So I think one of their issues were, I think I saw it in the comments. Yeah, it was this one. This is good news for the people that have been separated for years with no contact with the ex. I just returned from Mindanao to visit my girlfriend and her family. Loved every minute there and will be returning when time allows. She's been separated for over 16 years now. So apparently there's this issue, obviously because it's been illegal or at least frowned upon divorce in the Philippines that when people separate personally, they're still legally married. So you have people that are legally married that haven't talked to their spouses in years. And this is supposed to rectify that issue. Imagine you go to the Philippines, you meet someone you like, they have no contact with their spouses for five years, six years, seven years, they've separated, no kids, nothing, but legally you can't annul that. So, so far it seems reasonable. Obviously a lot of the comments are gonna disagree. You know how men are, let's continue. There's not going to be any no-fault divorce in the Philippines. It's actually good news for Filipinas who are trapped in paper marriages. Ah, and for those guys who are in a relationship with a Filipina who's still legally married, you guys know what I'm talking about because I'm always getting this, uh, these emails saying that, oh, I found the perfect Filipina, but she's still legally married even though he she hasn't seen her husband for eight or ten years it doesn't matter right because you're still legally married i've mentioned this many times guys that you do not want to involve yourself with a legally married woman in the philippines because it's gonna be a sticky situation even though they haven't seen each other the the legal husband if he finds out that you're dating this woman he can just pop back up and mess things up right and you can go to jail right gracie the worst case correct, scenario because uh correct because the husband has a course of action against whoever his wife is sleeping with it is a criminal act to be engaged or to have sexual intercourse of someone other than your husband if you are married so it's it's the crime of adultery which has a penalty for imprisonment not only um, imprisonment for the wife, but also imprisonment for the 
paramour or the um, the person whom the wife is having sexual intercourse with. I mean, this makes perfect sense to me. I'm not going to be on the side of guys. I could just imagine going to the Philippines. You get a girlfriend. She happened to be married five years ago. Dude is butt hurt because he sees you, Westerner, probably loaded with money compared to him, probably doing better, giving this woman a new lease on life. You're deeply in love. She's giving you everything you ever wanted. You guys are like trying to start a family. You're trying to get property and the dude pops up and says, hey, wait a second, go to prison, punk ass. You know, that's a real possibility at the moment. And I'm sure somebody somewhere has got a story of that shit happening. Filipinos will benefit from this law because it'll free up millions of Filipinas and they can move on with their lives because a lot of them are just trapped in dead marriages. I'm not saying because their husbands are dead, but they haven't seen each other for a while. So I think in a way it is it is a good thing. But if the divorce legislation was going to be like the ones in the US or other Western countries, I'd agree with the guys. I'd be worried too. But again, guys, it's not. And it's not a law yet. Right, Gracie? Yeah, it's still a proposed bill. And just like any other proposed divorce bill in the past uh, they might some people might think that the longer the case is the better for the lawyers because of the appearance fees etc yeah so we got the gist of it dude there's no point in watching this whole thing anyways it's a proposed bill and it's only going to help unravel the current issue of being trapped in a dead marriage so if you go there and meet somebody you like you don't want to have to deal with potentially going to prison if the husband decides to be petty with it. So I don't know. That makes perfect sense to me. And the comments from the men, several of my wife's Filipino friends are divorcing their husbands here in Texas. First mistake, Texas. They're Americanized. They got westernized and started having affairs with boy toys and see the pout from divorce. Yeah, don't get married in the West. Duh. It always starts with a, with a reason that sounds noble. The radical result will never be accepted if it was proposed in the beginning. So the goal is to get everyone to accept the idea of divorce before incrementally changing divorce to be how it looks in the U.S. No, that's a culture shift. People don't respect the institution of marriage. Therefore, they're divorcing at the rates they are. It wasn't that they made divorcing easy and then people started divorcing because of that. We have cultural rot in the United States, not to be confused with the legislation that's being abused now by women because it was set up to protect them in a time where divorces were not that common. It says divorce is never cheap. Never underestimate the Philippines' ability to capitalize on people who want money and people who have it. Just go to a doctor, lawyer, government office. Uh, has many unknown fees that don't actually exist. I guarantee that once these new divorce laws become law, the interest and willingness of foreigners to marry in the Philippines will de uh, decline sharply. The divorce laws in Western countries are draconian and heavily biased. Well, yeah, I just said that. The Philippines is creating an avenue to be divorced in the very country men have escaped from Will, from Will Denture, many forms seeking marriage. Don't know what this guy was trying to write there. It says, and likely drive new seekers of love and marriage to seek it out in other countries like Thailand, Laos, or Cambodia. If you like the Philippines and you like the culture, this law isn't going to really change much. First of all, it's proposed, but let's hypothetically say it passes again. You can't just nullify a marriage because you feel like it you have to have some sort of proof some reason sure you can get into the whole concept of theoretically she could lie that she caught you with another woman now what does that part entail as far as proof and are is there a court bias in the philippines in favor of women i have no idea men men in the comment section that have been there and understand how that society is set up can maybe chime in on that that's where you could technically abuse the system, but I don't know if they're experiencing the same level of like gynocracy that we are in culture rot. And again, these ideals are probably closer to the West when you go into the major cities like Manila, right? But imagine yourself in the countryside outside the big cities where traditions are well maintained, where the family unit is cohesive, where they strongly are you know, against divorce, period, and are much more religious. If you go to the Philippines and you get on Tinder and then you meet a chick you like and she happens to live in the big city and she likes to party and she's westernized in that and you consider her fun, then you catch feelings, then you eventually marry this chick. Like, yeah, bro, your chances of getting played and divorced, like, increase tenfold. If you go to the countryside, meet a nice Filipina that's all about family life, just wants to start one of her own and support her husband, is not interested in all that partying and all that shit, you're not going to have a problem. This is an issue of meeting the wrong people and getting played for it. Um, 
it seems like a positive thing to get out of the dead marriages that only exist on paper that could land a dude in jail if the husband feels like it. All right. And again, there's uh, from what they said, it is not a no fault divorce. You can't just willy nilly tear up the contract. You have to have a reason, which I'm assuming they spell out in the legalese. Uh, but, you know, men will hear it the way they want to hear it. That's the divorce law. That's how the divorce law started in the U.S. Then it progressed into the disgusting thing it is now. Unfortunately, I see it as the first step in that direction. That, that again, it all depends if their culture will mimic ours in terms of progressive values, woke left ideologies, and the like. If they head in that direction, then yes, the laws will keep getting more and more like ours here in the West. Not much to really say on this one, guys. It's a wait and see scenario. Stories of guys that have had to deal with that dead marriage on paper and currently seeing women like that. I'm curious to read that in the comments. Let me know.